Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and I'm super excited about these projects that I'm going to show you how to make today. They look like this. They are decoupaged sand dollars from Dollar Tree. So they're not even real, but they look fabulous. So I'm going to show you start to finish, give you a bunch of tips, things that I've figured out because I've been busy making lots of these. Um, and I know somebody will ask, what are they for? Well, they're just a uh, decoration. You could hang them on a, a lamp switch. You could hang them on a doorknob. Um, you could hang these on your Christmas tree. Or if you do one of those summer beach trees, you could hang them on that. I mean, you can just do a ton of different things. So I'm going to show you everything that there is to know about these. And it's going to be really fun. And one of the best things is that almost everything is from the Dollar Tree. So as you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle, all that good stuff. Okay, so the main ingredient are these. Let's open some up. And then you need some napkins, which of course you can use whatever you like. Uh, it's totally personal preference. Um, this napkin right here came from Dollar Tree. We're going to be using that. This one, I don't know where it came from, but I just love it. And this one, I think I got it Tuesday morning last year. But they're all kind of a blue and white theme is what I'm going with. And um, we're going to be using matte Mod Podge. For this project, though, if you have the glossy, I would use that. Um, and then we're going to use one of these fabulous Magnolia DIY.com ink pens in gold. And, um, oh, and since my Mod Podge is not glossy, we're going to use this clear matte sealer that's glossy. I think that's pretty much it. So let's start at the very beginning. Okay, um, this one's my favorite. Look how pretty that is. Um, okay, so if you don't know how to take your napkins apart, these are just paper napkins, um, then I want to give you a couple tips. Okay, this particular napkin right here was a little bit more expensive than something from Dollar Tree, and it has three plies. It is important that you get all three of those plies off. So here is one ply. And then the next one's the one that's hard to get off. So um, lots of you guys suggested this and I tried it and it does sometimes make it a little bit easier to put some tape on the front and on the front ply and some tape on that middle ply and use that to kind of pull the two plies apart and voila. Uh, the first time I worked with these napkins, I didn't even realize that it was three ply. I just was thinking it was your typical two ply. So you definitely want to get down to just one ply. The Dollar Tree napkins are two, so you're only going to have to take off one layer. All right. And don't throw this away because you can use it to clean up. Let me cut my piece of tape off the corner here. All right, so then we're going to think about, for this design, where might we want it to lay on our Dollar Tree sand dollar. These are so nice, you guys, and you're not hurting any animals. Um, Sherry Nichols says, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, so on the other one that I did with this same napkin, I chose to put that in the center. Um, but let me just kind of look for just a second. And I'm doing mine. They have five holes. I'm doing mine so that the cord will go through this one in the center. So this is up. Oh, the way I'm doing it. I want to, oh, this is pretty. Yeah, oh, that's really pretty. Okay. 
Yeah, because that has lots of designs on there. Okay, I had a pencil out. Let me find my pencil. And we will just roughly draw around this so that I can remember which part I want to use. We're going to trim everything when it's on. And if you're going to make a whole bunch more using the same napkin, then just, you know, uh, don't choose a spot right in the center so that you can conserve on napkins and not have to burn up a whole napkin to do one sand dollar. I did find in making these other ones that this project is easier to do if you have something roughly cut out. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take some Mod Podge. If you have the, the glossy, use that for this project, but all I have is matte, so that's what I'm using. See, lots of people are on. Who is loving all the Mod Podge projects? I, um, I was with a new friend that I met here at DIY Dreaming and Christy today, we went to um, Old Time Pottery. I met her there. And um, anyways, she was telling me, I asked her, what other crafters do you watch? And she was telling me about a girl that, uh, a gal that I don't know. Uh, I haven't watched her before, but she was giving me this idea. So I know we've been doing a lot of Mod Podge lately, a lot of decoupage projects. But we're going to probably do another one. Uh, I'll give us a few days to get over all the decoupage. Okay, so I pretty much covered the whole thing. And you want to get, like on the edges, you want a generous, pretty generous coat. And then I'm going to put a little bit in each one of these holes. And I'll show you why in just a minute. If you have Mod Podge, Mod Podge on your table uh, or your work surface, you might just want to clean that up real quick because you don't want your napkin to stick on that. Okay, so it's covered and I'm going to try to remember what did I have in mind? How did I want this to be? Okay, and then you're going to lay your napkin on top of your uh, Dollar Tree plastic sand dollar. But what I have found is if you touch it, the napkin's going to want to pull up on your skin. So I'm just using, I've been using the same bag for all of these. Um, it's just a plastic bag, and I'm just pressing the napkin into the decoupage. And I'm trying to push flat any wrinkles that I have. Okay, so then if you're going to use this again, you want to just quickly get that decoupage off of there. And I'm going to very gently trim this excess off as close as I can get it to the edge. And I'm going to minimally try to not handle this sand dollar too much. So I'm just cutting as much of the excess off as I can get. And we, we may come back and do some more trimming because I'm seeing already where it is. 
I'll hold this up in just a second. This is such an easy project. Oh my goodness. So, this is what it looks like right now. It's not perfect, but that does not matter. Okay, so now you're going to take some more of your Mod Podge. And you know what? I've been working on these um, because Mod Podge is so sticky and messy. These parchment paper pieces that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm going to get this out and we're going to do these steps on here. So now you're just going to take your brush and get some more Mod Podge, Mod Podge and you're going to put that on pretty liberally and get the sides pushed down into the edge of the sand dollar. Make sure that we have the whole entire thing covered. Okay, and then remember these holes. I'm gonna use my brush, basically, to tear the napkin and push it into the hole. Get a big piece like this. You can just snip that off. So I'm just doing that on all of these five little holes that this thing has. And then I'm going to flip it over carefully and I'm going to do a little bit more Mod Podge on the inside of each one of these holes. And we're going to continue pushing that down. You just want it to lay flat to basically fold into these little holes. And then I'm just going to take the big clumps off. And honestly, the least amount of brush work you do when you're working with Mod Podge, the better. Okay. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to set this back here for a second, and we'll start on another one. And then when that's dry, I'll show you the next step. Okay. Here is another sand dollar, and let's use some more of this Dollar Tree napkin, which I've taken the ply off of it. Let me just kind of think about how I want this to lay. So I want to know what you guys think. These are so pretty. They would be so pretty on a Christmas tree. And I hope I didn't cut this too small. And um, each, okay, so this bag of three sand dollars is $1.25. So each one is under 50 cents. It's like 40 something cents a piece. And the napkins cost nothing virtually. And the, um, the little bit of Mod Podge you use costs nothing. So these are so pretty for probably a 50 or 60 cent investment in each one. 
They just really are so pretty. I wish you could see them in person. Okay, and we're going to go back and do all the same stuff that we did with the first ones. This time I'm going to put a little bit more Mod Podge in the holes. So they'll stick better. Pretty Debbie, I just love them. Um, but I love doing anything that's kind of different. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I haven't seen a. T I haven't seen any videos of anyone doing this. I have, um, you know, been thinking about making some candle garters with these and putting them in some kind of beachy arrangements. But okay. So that is pretty good. Let's scooch it over here so it's not right in the sticky area and use my plastic Becky to push my napkin down onto the sand dollar. This makes it so much easier. You could use a piece of saran wrap. Um, really whatever you would like. But not using your fingers for that step is great. Okay, so let's cut this excess off. And I was starting to tell you about my little field trip today to Old Time Pottery. So who has one of those stores where they live that you go to sometimes? This was my first time. Um, and uh, Christy, who I met there, she told me that it's really kind of hit or miss at that store. And it was kind of a miss uh, today. But I did get some more pretty ribbon. I do have a little ribbon problem. We're going to put some more Mod Podge on this. I'm going to try on the sides first. Um, and I got a lampshade for the new lamp that I picked up at Goodwill. I got some more battery operated candles. Well, I got one pretty um, bag of beach glass that has really smaller pieces. And. And then, of course, there was a Dollar Tree about a mile away. <laughs> so we had to hit Dollar Tree, of course. Let's put a little glue on this side of these holes, too. Um, so it was a fun little field trip. Now I'm just going to cover the whole sand dollar. And there's, there's always going to be a few little wrinkles because you're, you're bending your napkin to fit over this slightly curved shape. Okay, so I've got the um, top of it and the sides on, and I'm just going to do that thing where I just kind of poke my brush into the holes and push the napkin into the edge of the hole. And let's clean up the big globs of Mod Podge because sometimes this will dry sort of cloudy if you have it really thick in certain spots. And you don't want that. So let's 
I'm going to move this back here and get the one that we were working on before. Which is not quite dry. So let me get my uh, heat gun and see if we can assist it to move along a little quicker. I love this napkin the best. And then next up, I love this one from Dollar Tree. They're, they're, the, this one I got last year at Tuesday morning. But, I mean, you can use whatever napkins you like. it's pretty you could go ahead and um, put a, a coat of glossy spray on it right now if you wanted and it would be pretty but I think they look so much prettier when you put some gold on them so I'm just filling the edges to make sure I've got those pretty smooth okay and I'm using one of these ink pens from Magnolia um, they come in a set there's other pieces in it too. I'm just not knowing exactly where those are. But the gold ink pen is what I'm using for this project. Um, if you have the other set of pens that are a mix of chalk pens and ink pens, and there's two golds, you can choose whichever one you want to use. I really don't think for this project that it matters. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is prime your pen. So that um, the ink is flowing and you do that just by pushing down and then I'm going to start by going around the edge of my seashell and I'll show you what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is get the edges of them fully covered and then we're going to do a little bit of a thicker line and we're going to outline these five little holes as well. And so just take your time. If you get a little bit of the gold ink on the back, it really doesn't matter. You could also put this uh, you could frame this and put it in a shadow box. That would be pretty. Or it could be a package topper. Or it could just be a doodad if you like to decorate your house for beach for summer. All right, my house is filled with doodads. And most of them are doodads that I've made because I like making doodads. Okay, so that's the start of it. And it looks messy right now, but it's going to look great. Okay, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start just going around the edges. And you want to make that gold line thicker so you can see it from the front. This is supposed to come 
kind of, in my head, it's supposed to look a little bit like it's been gilded with gold leaf, but we're not using gold leaf. We're using a gold pen, a gold ink pen from Magnolia DIY. And it's so much easier to do it this way than to actually gild a sand dollar. It's getting pretty already. Just moving that line out a little bit from the edge. This is not rocket science for sure. Okay, what was the just? Please co close caption for replay. Um, I have that automatically set up on my Facebook page to have all my replays have closed caption. Sometimes Facebook can't do it for some reason, but um, the settings I have on are to always do closed captions, so you don't need to remind me. I know it's important, and um, I think it's good also for the ladies who might be in bed at 3 a.m. and their spouse is still sleeping, but they can't sleep, so they can uh, watch a video on mute and read. So, and, and there's lots of things that the closed captions are good for. Okay. So, it is looking fabulous. Okay, next what you're going to do is just kind of do an outline of the holes. Take your time. And the more you go over these with this kind of a pin, the golder the lines will look. I think if you made something like this and you were going to offer it in a gift shop, you could probably ask at least $20 a piece. These are, they are, if I don't say so myself, they are pretty darn fabulous. And um, if you don't want to have it be a beach theme, you could use Christmas napkins if you were gonna put it on a Christmas tree, or really you could use tissue paper um, or any kind of paper that appeals to you, any design that appeals to you. Look, get a hold of it better. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so now what I would do is I would take this outside on a piece of cardboard and I'd give it two light coats of a gloss. Clear Ultra Cover. It says it seals, protects, and revitalizes. This came from Walmart, under $5. And that's going to make it look shiny. So here's the one with the same napkin but a different spot on it versus this one. And you can probably see that this one's not as shiny. This one is more shiny. They're both beautiful, though. So I will do that, but we're going to attach the top right now. I'm going to show you how to do that. And these are the other two that I did. This one is the Dollar Tree napkin. And this one is a napkin. I'll show it to you in just a second. And I, tie, I just realized right now that I tied my little thing through the wrong hole. So I'll cut that off <laughs> and redo that. It should be right here. But this napkin right here, don't be afraid to use color. Um, this is what it looked like. 
It was one of the napkins that my friend Colleen D sent me. And um, when I was going to meet my new friend Christy at um, Old Time Pottery, I had been fiddling around with this idea and I made one of these with this napkin and it was beautiful. So I took that one to her, gave that one to her. Uh, but anyways, you, you can just keep fiddling around with them to get as much of the gold pin on it as you would like. These are awesome. I'm always saying that's like a must uh, for a good crafter's closet. I would get the pins, the ink pins and the chalk paste pins. Or if they have it available, it's, I don't think it's in stock right now, um, get the package that has four ink pins and four chalk paste pins. And it has them in black, white, gold, and silver for each. So I use those all the time to do little dots and dashes and all kind of things. So I just threaded this through that hole and I'm gonna do one of these little knots. And then I'm gonna tie this in a knot so it could be hung. But you could put beading on it. You could just tie a bow. It doesn't have to have a hanger unless you want one. Uh, I think they're awesome. So I will take this one outside and give it a spray. And I'll finish the other one right here. So it is shiny like this one. Can you kind of see the difference? And that's why I said, if you have um, the glossy Mod Podge, this is matte, but if you have the glossy version of this, use that for this project. I almost always prefer this, but for this project, I actually would rather be using a glossy Mod Podge. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? Um, is this something that you might try? I suppose that you could do this very same idea. Oh, look at this one, it has this little bird and a butter and a dragonfly and a butterfly. You could do this idea with real um, sand dollars, but these are just so easy <laughs> to work with. And they're very, I mean, almost all Dollar Tree stores are gonna have this right now. Uh, so I recommend that you use these, these ones. All right, let me see if anyone has questions. Thank you, Ruby. She says, very pretty. And Charlene says, love it. Hey, Charlene, did you notice that um, you were, your name was chosen to get those napkins earlier this week? All right, well, if you liked these projects and you want to see the next Mod Podge project I'm going to do um, and the other things that we'll be working on, uh, do it this or this. That's a heart. Or say something to me in the comments. Like Fiona just said, she loves sand dollars. Uh, she can't wait to make some. Susie said, what a unique surface to work with. I know, can you believe it? Um, it's got a little bit of stuff stuck on it. I mean, this is, it's plastic. It's a pretty good Dollar Tree fake of what an actual sand dollar would look like. But it's a great surface. And I think you could use tissue paper if you had some pretty tissue paper or um, any style of napkin that you like. You could do this part with a ribbon. You could put some uh, beads on here. This could go on a Christmas tree. It could be hung like on a, on a door in your kitchen or a cabinet or something like that. Or it could just be a fun little gift for a friend that cost you under 50 cents to make. And you can boom, 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 whip them out. They're quick. So I was saying, do it this or this. Say something to me in the comments. And look to see 
if you have liked and followed this page, DIY Dreaming already, um, if you haven't, do that and you can turn on your notifications. You love my idea, but please slow down. Well, I'm just kind of reviewing it, Patricia, so if you missed the beginning, I showed step by step by step. So I'm just summarizing the project right now, and that's why I'm going quickly. Um, anyways, if you uh, want to see what else I have coming up, just do all those things if you're watching on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, just take two seconds to subscribe to my channel and to like this video. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you guys do this, if you get some of these Dollar Tree sand dollars and you try this decoupage with napkin idea, I definitely want to see your pictures. So, um, hop over to that group I set up for all of us to share our craft pictures. And um, it's Dreamy DIY. If you haven't already joined, it, if you haven't joined, go there. It's Dreamy DIY. Just type that in your Facebook search bar. There's a space in between those two words. And then be sure to answer the questions. And we'll say, come on in. And then please share pictures of what you make. These would be great for a tray, Jackie says. I totally agree. I want to know what other ideas you guys have for this. So, if you have ideas of what else could we do with these, tell me. Tell me in the comments, because I want to know. I feel like I'm going to make about 10 more, because <laughs> it's just such a cool project. All right, I will get pictures. I'll put them here, and I'll... Um, I will also just put them over on DIY Dreaming. Have a great rest of your day, and thanks for watching. See you later.